So it's a pretty rare occurrence that you have an update to a mixer that's been on the market for 20 years. But today we've got the Zone 92.2. As you can see, Alan and Heath haven't messed with the 92 formula. It's had a bit of an aesthetic facelift on the top panel, but other than that, the layout is almost identical. So let me run you through what is new. We've now got silent switching on the filter. Uh, one of the big complaints from the old one was when you turn this on or you would set it to a level that you would like and engage it, there was a little bit of a pop that would come through. That's been completely addressed and it's silent now and you can turn the filter on and off as you like and even change between these bands. And the filters themselves have been tweaked slightly. The resonance is a little bit more controlled and the filter frequency is a little bit more precise. I absolutely love using these filters. They're fully analog. They're so nice and warm and musical and smooth that you've got a whole bunch of options that they really are just a joy to mix with. We now have a mini Innovator Pro crossfader. Super responsive, it's adjustable. It's got a really nice sharp cut to it with this adjustment here, massive improvement. One of the quirks on the old 92 was it had a pretty unusual uh, channel fader curve. On this one here, you've got three options. You've got a linear one, the original one, and then one that has a bit more of a bend to it. That's gonna give you more options and find the ways that you like to mix tracks and blend them how you like. Also got revised and improved preamps on board. A common complaint from the old 92 was that it was really hard to level match if you had CDJs and turntables in the same setup. That's been completely resolved now with these new pre's. Aesthetically, the faceplate's been modernized. It's a much cleaner look. Each section's really nice and defined. Personally, I really like it. It makes it a lot more easy to navigate and yeah, that's an that's a improvement in my eyes. And that's basically it. Like I said, they haven't really messed with the formula. The 92 has been a classic for a reason. They've given it a sweet new look, addressed a few issues, a few tweaks and upgrades, and they've sent it on its way. But since the 92 has been out for 20 years now, let me give you a quick refresh on all the main features and what this thing's about. I would say first and foremost with Allen and Heath mixes, the sound quality and the precision mixing is number one. It's a fully analog design. You've got four channels that all have a four band EQ. You've even got two send and return channels and mic inputs that also have a four band EQ. That gives you a lot of control over a typical three band that you would see on a lot of DJ mixes and a really great monitor section for queuing up. You get a few different options here. When you're queuing in your different tracks, you can split it into left and right ear and whether or not you want the EQ involved in your queue as well. You've got two master outputs, booth output, and then the filters as well. That's one of the things that everyone loves about these and what I love personally as well. The filters are super nice and smooth, high pass, band pass, low pass, and a really nice resonance on there as well. Two of those, and they're both stereo filters, which is crazy. That's normally what you would see on an analog synth or something like that, and you've got two to be able to DJ with here. They've also got a really fun LFO, which uh, is, yeah, pretty random. You don't see that on a lot of DJ mixes, but it's a lot of fun and it sounds really good. It's not too in your face. But like I said, the Zone 92, it's a fully analog mixer. What that means is there's no touch screen, there's no software updates, and importantly to note, there's no digital effects. So no echo, delay, reverb, anything like that. What you do have though, is you've got these stereo center return channels and you've got two of them. And I'm using that today. I've got my Strymon El Capasan being sent out. One of these channels goes through that and back through one of these channels here. So we've got that going there, which is fun but having an effect like this on these mixes just pairs so well in my opinion and 
What it means is you get to choose which effects you're using. So this is one of my favorite and that's what I like using in my music and when I'm DJing. And it gives you those options and you've got the four band EQ on here as well. And you've even got a ducker, which means it's gonna take out the kick drum every time it, there's a kick pulse, which for, you know, any music's gonna make it a bit more smooth as well. Before we wrap up, I know I said that there's no effects on board, but there is this one really cool trick that uh, I just want to show you with the filter here where you can actually build your own phaser. So I'm just going to get this track going here and bring this one in. And when you hold two of these down, you can actually engage the high pass and the low pass or the band pass as well. But we're going to engage those and then turn this filter on here. Already sounds really great, but once we get this uh, LFO going, starts doing that really wavy sort of phaser sound which is a really really fun effect and I think that sounds uh, bloody awesome so yeah let's have a little jam and uh, see, see what we can get going So that's been the Zone 922, such a great mixer. While it might seem limited compared to some other mixers, what you do get really is, is so much hands-on control, four band EQ, so many options with the filter. You get the ability to bring in outboard effects like I have done today. You know, there's an infinite possibility of how many effects you can bring in and try things out and really craft your sound. Just does make it such a great mixing experience in my eyes. You see these at lots of house and techno events where you really blending tracks in, in a really personal way and it just gives you those controls while just having such a nice sound quality and it really, really does sound incredible. They're available now at Store DJ. I've been Sam, thank you so much. Take it easy.